Good morning, North Carolina Prepper here. Um, I'm going to explain how to turn an old drill, a battery drill, into a uh, small generator for charging things like cell phones and stuff. Um, I got challenged by one of my friends that said I wouldn't be able to charge a cell phone in a power out or my solar panels or battery banks went dead. I said, well, let's see. Uh, this drill is about 20 years old. It would cost more to replace the batteries than to buy a whole new one, so I dug it out of my storage. And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a, a USB charger or emergency generator for small devices. Or, or AA batteries or whatever. doesn't matter. Or a battery charger, I guess. But let me show you how that's done, and I'll be right back. Alright, I actually had to pull the case off to get it in there. I couldn't reach up in there with the alligator clips. To clip the battery leads down there, so that's what I did. Um, that motor will be used in other projects, but for now, that's what I had to do. All right, I'll be right back once I assemble this thing back together. Okay, as you can see, we got the wires connected up in the drill there. That's my flashlight, so they're all connected up in there. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look here. I had to put a zip tie on the trigger to complete the power connection. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, let me go ahead and close this up, uh, the thing, so the wires don't get pulled, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and clamped it to the desk so I can move it. Now, you need to get a, a bit or something in there, and I thought long and hard, and I thought, why when I could just steal shit from the wife's kitchen? So let me go ahead and hook that up, and I'll show you what I plan. All right. So what we have is the alligator leads are coming out into the alligator leads into the voltmeter. Now we're going to use this method for generating power. So as you can see that's you know 5.5, 6, 6 volts, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hook that up now to a USB cable that I took and cut the end off of. And um I just went ahead and pulled out the red and the black wires. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into this adapter here and charge my phone because I didn't have a micro USB cable I wanted to chop up. So I'll plug this into my phone and I'll see another camera to film the second part here. But I'll charge my phone with this so you'll see how it's done. And I'll hook that up and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about the quality. This is a bad camera because I couldn't do both. But there's the wires coming out of the thing. Going on down to the USB splice. Along around, it's going to come back up to the adapter and into the camera there. So let me go ahead and set this up. I'm going to need uh, two hands to do this so I don't blow everything up and blow off the table. So let me put this on the tripod and we'll see what I can do. Okay, let me spin this now. Charging, let me zoom in. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it is. But there's the charging thing, you can see it charging. And let me stop here. And you can see it stopped charging. And let me continue charging again. There we go. As you can see, it works. I mean, it would take forever, but it can be done. So let me go ahead and stop. It will take forever, but it can be done. So there you go. There's a USB charger from a drill for emergency to recharge your stuff. So have a great day. North Carolina Prepper out. Please rate and subscribe.